1st of June this year marked the end of my longest non-stop assignment to date. In 125 days around the entire world, the F-Cell World Drive with three B-Class F-Cell like this here. Could there be a more spectacular way to demonstrate that the F-Cell technology is ready for the road? Welcome to MB Reporter. We are in Kirchheim near Stuttgart, Germany, where the F-Cell technology was invented. And today I want to show you a little bit of F-Cell development history at Mercedes-Benz. For those of you who haven't followed the tour or are not familiar with the technology, let me give you a brief overview. A fuel cell car is refueled with hydrogen under high pressure. This hydrogen reacts with oxygen from the air in a so-called fuel cell stack. The resulting electric current drives an electric engine. And this car has a range of about 380 kilometers or 230 miles. The only emission is water. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Of course it isn't. So as I wander away from my B-Class here in the F-Cell showroom in Kirchheim, I also step back in history. 17 years to be precise, because it was 1994 when Mercedes-Benz introduced its first new electric car one, briefly new car one. A vehicle much less suited for daily living than today's B-Class because the system itself needed a little bit more space. With me is team leader Rainer Bauer. He has been part of F-Cell development for 15 years. We believed in this technology from the very first moment and put all our ability and passion into it. This is how we made it from a rolling laboratory into a vehicle ready for serial production. And if you keep in mind what we have achieved, 17 years are quite a short time. Maximum efficiency and minimum space. To cope with that challenge, the F-Cell engineers had to research and test several options. In the rear trunk of the 1997 NECAR 3, they installed a downright chemical factory. Because the hydrogen needed for the fuel cell was obtained from liquid methanol inside the car itself. Why did we do this? Well, as it is a liquid fuel, the infrastructure would be much more similar to the conventional systems we use today. And for the customers, the handling would be pretty much the same. So, it was worth testing this idea. The developers made it possible to place the entire propulsion system in the undercarriage only three years later. But finally they decided to abandon this option. Other systems turned out to be more promising. The engineers also tested the extreme cooling of hydrogen, which creates liquid hydrogen. But again, they viewed the disadvantages as being too great in the end. When liquid hydrogen gets warmer, it evaporates, and then its volume increases. So if you don't want the tank to explode, you have to release the hydrogen from it. If you don't use the vehicle for a longer period, the tank gets empty. Pressurized hydrogen became the technician's fuel of choice. In 2003, an F-cell powered A-class had already been produced in a mini-series. And with the B-class F-cell, the proud engineers demonstrated to the whole world that this technology is market ready. Being in Kirchheim means celebrating a reunion with many of our World Drive mates. And of course, these technicians are already at work on the next generation of B-Class F-Cell, which will be on the market in 2014. So as time goes by, also this B-Class F-Cell here will become one day antique. But hopefully, F-Cell technology will be part of our daily mobility then. So, see you on the road again! Emission free!